Good day, students. Welcome to our virtual classroom. Today, we are going to discuss about intercepts of a polynomial function. So, it is finding the x and y intercepts of a polynomial function. But before that one, let us first define what are x-intercept and y-intercept. So when we speak of x-intercepts, these are the x value when our y or the f of x is equal to zero. Therefore, the points where the graph intersect the x-axis. So when we speak of x-intercepts, this is the intersection point on the x-axis. While the y-intercept is the y-value when our x is equals to 0. So this is where the point where our graph intersect in the y-axis. Okay, now, how do we find x and y-intercept in a given function? So to start, we have here example number one. So you have f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 10. Solving for the x-intercept. So when you solve for the x-intercept, we will let f of x to be equals to 0. Okay, so the expression now will become 0 is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 10. Then, what will happen next is we are going to factor this trinomial here, the x squared minus 3x minus 10. So knowing that the factor of this one is x minus 5 and x plus 2. So in here, we can now separate the equation the x minus 5 will be equated to 0, and the x plus 2 will also be equated by 0 for us to solve for the value of x. So our x here, for the x minus 5, this x equals to 5, and for the x plus 2, x is equals to negative 2. So thus, the x-intercepts of the given polynomial function x squared minus 3x minus 10 are 5 and negative 2. Next is solving the y-intercept. To solve for the y-intercept, we will let x to be equal to 0 and change f of x be equated to y. So the expression will be y, so changing f of x to y, and change all the value of x here be 0. So this is, this is now 0 squared minus 3 times 0 minus 10. So 0 squared is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, then minus 10. So 0 minus 0 minus 10. So our y is equals to negative 10. Thus, the y-intercept is negative 10. Another example. f of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 24. So solving for the x-intercept, letting f of x to be equals to 0. So the expression now becomes 0 is equals to x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 24. So we are going to factor out the x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 24. So the factor of that one is x plus 3 times the x minus 2 times the x 
plus 4. So, equate all the factors by 0. The x plus 3, the x minus 2, and the x plus 4. So, for the x plus 3, our x is equal to negative 3. Well, for the x minus 2, x is equal to 2. And for the x plus 4, is x equals to negative 4. So, thus, x-intercepts in this given polynomial functions are negative 3, 2, and negative 4. Let's proceed to solving the y-intercept. So change f of x to y and change x equal to 0. So our expression will be for the f of x, that is y, then change all the x's into 0. So 0 cubed is 0, 0 squared is 0 times 5 is 0, and 2 times 0 is 0. So y is equals to 0 plus 0 minus 0 minus 24. So y is actually equals to negative 24. So thus, we can say, that the y-intercept of the given polynomial function is negative 24. Okay, now, for uh, it's your turn to answer this one. Okay, so I have here three given. So you are going to solve for the x-intercepts and the y-intercept of these three given polynomial function okay so thank you and god bless us all don't forget to answer activity number two of your module one quarter two okay bye god bless